Greetings, scientists. I'm so happy to see you. How was your weekend? Wow, it sounds like some of you had fun with your shadow puppets, and that makes me so happy. Were any of you able to make any modifications or changes? Oh, I bet your shadow puppet box is even better than before. You know, I was actually tinkering with my shadow box all weekend. Huh? Oh, my bad. Tinkering means playing around or fixing something. And I was trying to fix my shadow puppet box because I wanted to add more features to it. And I think it ended up looking really cool. Do you want to see what I put together? Great, let's check it out. So here you can see from the front, and you know, can't see a lot. So let me turn it around so you can see all the features. <laughs> Isn't it cool? I spent so much time tinkering with it because I had seen another shadow puppet video online and I was inspired. It had moving parts, different colors, and it was just so cool looking. I was so inspired that I had to make my own. So I gathered a bunch of cardboard and boxes that I intended to recycle to start modifying my shadow box. I was wondering how I could get parts to move, display cool lights, and build a strong shadow puppet box to hold everything together. It was so exciting. I made a lot of mistakes, but I think I also accomplished everything in my goal. Can I show you some more features on my shadow puppet box? Great. I'm going to turn on my light source to show you all how it looks. All right. Let me get my light source. Okay, you ready? <laughs> Did you see the rocket ship move? <laughs> that was so fun to figure out. It was really challenging, but I think it ended up looking really great. Check out what I did over here with the lights. So here's a white light. Here's a blue light. Do you see how they look different? I know I said it, but what color did you see? That's right, the light is now blue. And that was a really big challenge, but I learned so much from it. And this was one of the most fun and, what was that? You want me to show you how I did these things? <laughs> it's actually funny you mention that because I was thinking of showing you these things. How exciting, scientists. We have the same idea. We could definitely do this. Before I tell you information for getting started, I want you to take out your science notebook. We're going to reread our conclusions from each week this month. And we're doing this because everything that we've learned this month as engineers will help us with this project. So let's all take a moment to take out our notebooks and reread the conclusions. I have mine up so we can read them together if you'd like. Turn off my light. Do you have your notebooks? Great. Like I said, you can reread your conclusion or you can listen to me read mine. Let's get started. So our first week, we asked, how can I make an object move? And we figured out that we can move objects using force, pushing or pulling them. The second week, I asked, how can I make shadow puppets? And we concluded, you need a light source and a surface. Then cut out the details in your puppets so the light can change the shadow. And then we asked, what can I use to make my shadow puppets better? And we wrote, or we concluded that cardboard can be used to make a strong puppet, use cardboard and wet glue to make stable stands, and printer paper and wax paper are best for making shadows. Wow, we've learned so much this month. I almost forgot about the toy car and the hill from the first week of March. Well, engineers, how can we use force to make objects move in the shadow puppet box? Awesome. <laughs> so some of you remember that I showed you a moving rocket ship. So we can use pushes and pulls to make the rocket move. Great job, engineers. You're showing me how much you've learned. What was the special thing that I did with my light source and shadows this time? Yes. I made the light blue, but engineers, I didn't buy a blue light bulb. I used a special material. This kind of material is transparent and obviously translucent. Even though I know what I used, I could recreate the tests I did when I was deciding what material to use for my blue light. That way, we can still learn about it together. What do you think, engineers? Can we use our knowledge of pushes and pulls 
lights, and materials to make an interactive or moving shadow puppet box? <laughs> yes, I thought so. So for our notebook entry today, we're going to make it quick by just writing or drawing what materials will be needed to make the shadow puppet box. You should already have your notebook out, but please be sure to have something to write with. I'm going to take my papers down. So let's write the date, March 22nd, the page number, and our title, Shadow Puppet Fox Materials. All right, so March 22nd, 2021, and my last page was 29, and this is 30. Puppet. Box. All right, shadow puppet box materials. Nice. All right, I told you it would be quick. So let's get over, or let's go over what you'll need. You will need two cereal boxes or other boxes that are made with a thin cardboard. You will also need a flattened paper towel roll. I would recommend that you get this one tonight. We're going to use it tomorrow. You're gonna to have to cut a slit down the middle, fold the edges flat, and put it under something heavy, but we'll talk about that later. You will also need glue, tape, some string, oh, I forgot to draw that, puppets, a toy car like I have here, or a different one, paper, and some decorating supplies like markers. Oh, and some kind of transparent plastic. Well, engineers, this is all the time we have for today, and I'm so excited to figure out how we can use our knowledge to make an interactive shadow box. Tomorrow, we will use our knowledge of pushes and pulls to make our rocket ship move. I look forward to learning with you. Please enjoy the rest of the show. We have awesome things planned for you.